So we are officially starting the Newfoundland Traverse. We're in Grand Bay West, right here, and we're gonna do boop 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 and cross over into JT Cheeseman. So Corey and I drove down to Tompkins, left the car at the parking lot and hitchhiked to Grand Bay West. That was it. The beginning of my Newfoundland Traverse after months of planning. And Corey would join me for the first four days where we hiked from Grand Bay West along Sandy Dunes and following the trailway to JT Cheeseman Provincial Park. So we really had no choice but to cross this river. <laughs> and the other spot where we wanted to cross, we probably would have had to swim. So this is actually pretty good. I went just above my knee. We then walked up the road to the top of Table Mountain, where we left beaten trails and entered the Grand Codroy Way, which is a backcountry route that's part of the International Appalachian Trail System. It's just one of those majestic routes because you're out in the backcountry, there's no trail, and you rely on your own skills, your map and compass. So this is day number two. We made it to our campsite. We're in the Grand Kadroi Way. I just went for a wash shower in the stream. It was pretty cold. It was super refreshing and it's really sunny and warm so actually 20 degrees I think I might have gotten a little bit sunburned today we're making some falafels yeah so tonight we're having a Lebanese style meal falafels some quinoa with sun-dried tomatoes and we're gonna have some hummus with that we're gonna need some wood in there all right Let's add some, a few little pieces. We did a little bushwalking, not too much though. Explored some barrens and beautiful ravines. There was a decent amount of snow at the top too. And ponds covered in ice. I really enjoy exploring around the backcountry with map and compass. There's something peaceful about just walking and being alone in your thoughts. If you enjoyed part one of my Newfoundland Traverse, please click the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss part number two in which Corey leaves, returns home, and I keep on hiking by myself along the trailway.